Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of our Exploring Career Series. Today, we're lucky enough to be joined by Naya from BHP. Thanks for joining us today, Naya. Thank you so much for having me. No worries at all. I wanted to kick us off with who BHP are, because I know a lot of people would have heard of BHP or seen the logo around, but can you actually explain to those who don't exactly know what BHP do? Yeah, no worries. Um, so BHP is uh, one of the largest mining companies um, in Australia and in fact in the world. Um, and yeah, we, we mine resources to, I guess, help build um, the, the infrastructure and uh, that you see all around us. Um, myself, I work for BHP in coal. So my mine site is Blackwater. Um, and we mine met coal, and met coal is used to make iron, um, sorry, used to make steel uh, with iron, and you know, that just helps create the cities that we see in the world. Perfect, so how did you find yourself in this industry and with BHP, what's the story behind that? Well, I actually, um, I don't know how I got into engineering, so I never knew anything about engineering when I was in high school. Um, I didn't find out about engineering until my first year of university. So I was studying a science degree um, and then I went to a careers expo and all of the companies um, that were there, they wanted engineers. So pretty much the next year, I just switched over into civil engineering. Um, and then I graduated as a civil engineer and I went back and worked in WA. So I'm originally from Western Australia and um, I started working for another mining company. And then I really enjoyed mining. So I, um, I went and did another two years of mining to get my mining degree. And um, yeah, then I found my, ended up working for BHP. Awesome, lovely. So do you have a typical day? Is, is it a typical nine to five or are the days different? What's a typical day look like for you? Yeah, so right now, um, I'm a mining engineer and I work on an eight days on and a six days off roster. Um, so we start the day at seven in the morning um, and they're quite long hours. So I finish at five and then we have some other people in my team who do 12 hour days. Um, but because I'm a residential, so I live about 10 minutes from my mine site, um, I get to do the residential hours, which is it's quite nice. So in the morning, um, you know, we just get in, I catch up with the team, um, I do, so I look after the pre-strip, which is truck and shovels or truck and diggers. Um, so I'll just find out what they did the day before um, on the mine site and then I'll either do some designs or I'll catch up with the operations team um, and just do some work and then we might go out in the pit and have a look at some of the work areas that the diggers are in. Um, so yeah, it's it's quite a varied job, uh, and there's always lots to do. So that's that's what I enjoy. Awesome. So going off that, you've obviously mentioned a few things there. If you had to pinpoint of what do you enjoy the most about your current job, is there one thing that you, you really like about it? I really enjoy, um, I guess, working in the team and working towards um, a goal. I also really enjoy um, creating solutions so a lot of what I do is just problem solving pretty much and coming up with the best design solution um, for operations so if I'm doing a dig design um, then it's like I get to look at what the current problems are and then come up with a solution and make sure that it's safe for operations to, to carry it out so that's probably the most fun that's what i enjoy doing the most is just yeah i can, I can imagine it it sounds very rewarding and i want to touch on what you brought up uh just before when you mentioned engineering a lot of people watching might be a bit confused in regards to how does engineering all those stem subjects science tech engineering and math how does that tie in with mining can, can you elaborate on that a bit more yeah so um it's it's really important so i work in 
the mind scheduling team and basically um, what everyone on site knows us as is we're the ones that create the plan for the whole of the mine site um, so Blackwater it's a huge mine um, there'd be like 50 dump trucks you know we've got like six diggers two shovels um, seven drag lines so in our team's responsibility is to make sure that we create a mine plan so that everyone on site knows what we're work working towards and you know we provide the, the designs um, we provide the schedule and we work really closely with operations to make sure that we execute um, our target so our target coal that we're meant to be getting for that month um, it's mostly based on the year and then we break it down all the way down until you get to like per shift um, so that's yeah that's pretty much why it's so important to have um, those STEM skills uh, especially engineering because everyone in my team they're all mining engineers so you mentioned before uh, how you weren't really or mining wasn't in your mind when you were you know studying at school so what's been the biggest surprise now that you've been working in the mining industry for a while what, what's been the biggest standout um definitely the experience and the variety um i i love coming to work and no two days are the same um, I also really enjoy, I guess, just the career opportunity. So I am a mining engineer, but I've done um, drill and blast. So I was a drill and blast engineer. Um, I'm now in truck and shovel. Um, you know, my next one will be drag line engineer. So just the, the career progression, especially just within mining, just in, as a mining engineer, um, is so varied. So you never, you never get bored the same job and there's always something else that you can do um, so that's always an opportunity for your development to just grow within the industry so um, that's what I really love doing the most. Perfect and what is it that you like most about BHP as you mentioned there's other organizations out there uh, in the mining industry what is it about BHP that you, you love so much? Yeah, um, so when I was in uni studying mining, um, I had a scholarship with BHP. So um, that was with the Australian Indigenous Education Foundation and BHP, they were a partnership. Um, so I just love that BHP really support and invest in young people. Um, and off of that scholarship, I was provided the opportunity to work as an intern during my uni holidays. Um, and then that's where I really got to see what the company was about, what I'll be doing day to day. Um, and just the, the culture is, um, is just amazing. Like I, like I said, I've worked for another mining company, um, but BHP definitely stands out as just having a really good work culture and um, they just really support young people. Yeah, and that's, that's interesting because that's something I wanted to touch on is the work culture. So what's it like? Is it the people that are great? Are, you know, do you manage to catch up with your work friends, you know, outside of work? You know, can you elaborate a bit more on that, on the actual culture and what makes it so uh, so in interesting to you? Yeah, um, definitely when I, when I was younger. Um, so I started as a grad and um, like there's when I started, there was about a hundred other grads that started as well. Um, so you definitely, when you come out of uni, you get to meet other graduates and um, you know, you can catch up with them outside. So a lot of us were living residentially and um, like we would go to, we would just take trips to the beach when we had our days off or um, just hang out. So, you know, I did move away from the city to, to a residential area. Um, but because there were a lot of other graduates who were in the same boat, um, it was a great opportunity, opportunity to move outside your comfort zone and um, make new friends and um, learn what the job is that you're going to be doing, I guess. Okay, perfect. And what is it that BHP saw in you, do you think? Or what is it that BHP are looking for? in people when they're welcoming people into their organisation? Is there something some people can do to, to stand out from the crowd or something you need to do? Yeah, um, I guess when you come and you, start, and you start working as a young person, <clears throat> um, just having a really good attitude and um, 
like a can-do attitude and just being interested, that'll really help. Um, we've just had interns, so they've done 12 weeks of um, working with us whilst they're studying uni on their uni holidays. And definitely, um, you know, I always just tell them, just have a great attitude, just ask as many questions as you can, um, and just really show an interest and try and get out uh, into the pit as often as you can. Um, and to speak to to a lot of people. So just having a great attitude when you're young people and being um, willing to learn, I think that that'll, that helps. That helps a lot, just having having a great attitude. Okay, no, that's some great advice. And we, when we talk about mining, uh, we often talk about the future of work and the future of mining in Australia. What does that look like to you? Yeah, it's definitely um, becoming a lot more dynamic. So um, people are moving around to different mine sites, they're moving around to different commodities. Um, so, you know, iron, you can, I have a lot of friends who were in coal and now they've moved over to WA to iron ore. Um, so it's a lot more dynamic, whereas before um, people would just work, stay at one mine site and then that was it. Um, right now it's changing so uh, especially with you know we've got the internet we've got um, connections like this we can do a lot of work from home we don't actually have to be on the mine site and the technology is just improving um, it's just yeah improving a lot in WA they've got trucks that are already autonomous um, so that's trucks without drivers and you know that that's definitely technology is gonna play a big role in what a mine site is going to look like. Okay, cool, interesting. And for people watching this now, what advice would you give uh, to anybody who's watching this and has been interested in what you've had to say and is perhaps considering a career, not only in mining, but in engineering and those other STEM fields, especially for young females as well, because we know that mining has traditionally been a male dominated industry but for any young females watching this what would you say to them when they're thinking about the stem fields or going into mining specifically do you have any advice for those guys yeah definitely um if you're thinking of studying at university i'd, I'd say you know have a go and um, in your first year just start applying for internships um, so bhp has they employ a lot of female interns to come and i know that um, with the way that it is now, mining engineers, uh, there's not many of them coming out of the universities. You know, UQ just closed their mining school. So even if you're studying like a civil engineering degree, um, apply, apply to BHP for an internship and then, you know, just come out on site for those 12 weeks and just see, um, just see how you go. It's, it's really fun. It's a fun workplace. It's a challenging workplace. Um, and you'd be surprised just how many women actually work on site. Uh, and yeah, I've, all I've found is that we're always ready to support young people um, and just to welcome them into, especially into the company and into the industry. Amazing, well, that's really exciting to, to hear that. Uh, and if you could, I know we don't have the technology yet, but if you could get in the time machine and jump in and maybe give your younger self some advice back at high school, what would you say to yourself knowing what you know now? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, this is a big, probably a big one is you don't have to be perfect or you don't have to know everything right now. Um, nobody's ever good at something they try for the first time. So um, I'll just tell my younger self, you know, you don't have to be perfect. Just if you have that great attitude and that willingness to learn, um, you do really well. So don't stress too much if you don't know, uh, but you'll learn, you'll be able to learn and pick it up. So um, just have a go and have that kind of learning mindset. No, exactly right. I echo those sentiments as well. And last question before I let you go, which I normally like to leave for the end, is what has been your biggest challenge? What, what's been the, the number one thing that you're proud of that was maybe a bit tough, but you managed to get, you managed to get through it. How did you get through it? What would that one thing be? Yeah, um, definitely when I started off uh, as a young grad, I moved, so I moved from Brisbane and I moved to the Hunter Valley for my first um, mining stint. And that was a big, a big challenge to move out of home. 
Um, I'd always stayed at home and then having to leave home, leave my family, leave my friends as a young person is, is really hard. Um, but, you know, you, you overcome that, you meet people just like yourself who are down there and you, you know, I've made some really amazing friends and met some really great people that I'm still in contact with within the mining industry. Um, but once I got over that first hurdle, like I've, I've moved back to WA, I've worked over in the Pilbara, um, I've moved back to Brisbane, I've moved to central Queensland now. Um, you just, if I hadn't have done that first step, I might have still just been stuck, um, just working in in Brisbane and, and might not have, I don't want to have enjoyed or find out, found out what I actually really liked doing and that was working on a mine site. So um, that was my biggest challenge was moving out of home. Well, thank you so much for that night. It's been great to have you on the show. It's been great to hear about your personal journey, careers in uh, the STEM fields and engineering specifically, careers in mining, and of course, what life is like at BHP. Of course, if you do want to learn more, you can visit all the links, we'll leave them down below so you can just go and do your own, own research. But again, thank you so much for joining us today, Naya, and look forward to seeing what, what, what the future holds for you. Awesome, thank you so much for having me. No worries.